Holy cow, Robert De Niro. <laughs> this is why you have one of these shows. <laughs> this is why you want this show, is to talk with Robert De Niro. Wow. Hey, hey. Hey, tough guy, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say I'm very happy that you're doing this show. Oh, thank you very, very, very much. Me too. Especially right now, I'm very happy to be doing this show. Because you're smart and you're terrific, you're funny, you're great. Wow. I didn't think there was any reason I could like Robert De Niro more than I did. <laughs> But I suddenly, for some reason, have affection for you. <laughs> Happy Merry Christmas. You too. Yeah. Thank you. Do you do, a, do you do like a classic uh, Italian Christmas, like, like a seven fish or whatever the thing is? Mm, no, I do things with family and stuff. I try. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not too hard, evidently. No, I do try hard. I do try, try hard. Do you yes, try hard? I do. I do. Uh, do you cook for the whole family? You got six no, kids. No, I, I don't cook. You don't but, cook but at all. We have people who do that for us. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I'm lucky. Right. You actually, you know, you actually have a restaurant. You have a hotel yes. down there in Tribeca, yes, and, yeah. and and you're, the hotel is actually covered with paintings. Uh, your, your dad's paintings are. Right yes. There. It's amazing. My father's. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I, uh, my mom met your dad over 30 years ago really? in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay. He had a showing. He was a painter. Yes. For people there who don't know. Mm -hmm. And there was a gallery showing, and she went to the show, and there was a party afterwards for the artists, and uh -huh. she said there was a guy sitting in the corner, and nobody was talking to him. And she went and sat down with him, had a nice conversation. She oh, came home, great. and she goes, I met the nicest man tonight. His son's an actor, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what's the actor? He goes, Donato? Or... <laughs> I said, do you talk to Robert De Niro's dad? So it was kind of like I felt like I met you at that moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you made a documentary about your dad. I did, I did. Uh, on HBO, we, yeah, I did. Yeah. Why'd you, why'd you, why'd you want to make a documentary about your dad? Well, I, I, uh, I just wanted to do a documentary on him because of, I had some footage, uh, a guy followed him around in the 70s with Super 8, uh, Super 8 camera. I always wanted to do that. And as time goes on, I wanted to really find out more about both sides of my, my family. Uh, so I um, started doing, ha having people do it, and the people who did the documentary, Perry Peltz, and, uh, it, uh, and I'm forgetting, I'm just mispronouncing the names of the other people, so forgive me, but uh, uh, Jane Rosenthal and Gita, uh, they did the documentary, um, and then I, it, it was going to, not, it wasn't intended to go to HBO, but I just wanted to do a documentary for my family, my kids. Uh, who were young and didn't meet their, their grandfather. Uh, I, ha I kept his studio. I took them there to see it uh, and, uh, and so on. But I, the documentary, I was, as I say, wanted to do, I did it. They, they liked it. They wanted to, uh, the HBO didn't. They wanted to put it on. So I said, fine. Well, it's lovely. You made it for your kids. Did, yeah. they, did they like it? Did they feel like they were introduced by the grandfather, to well, their grandfather? Uh, they don't really tell me that stuff, you know. <laughs> really? But I know it makes it. They just go like, "That's nice, Dad." You never know what they're thinking. Did you talk to your dad about your desire to be an actor? Because he was a painter. Did you say to him like, "Dad, I want to do something more stable. I want to be an actor." <laughs> like... no, a, a little bit, but not much. We didn't no. have much. You know, he would go off on stuff about painting and this and that. And some I remember, some I don't. I wish I remembered more, but yeah. It's not quite the way you always think it is with your kids. I mean, your nothing kids, is the way you think it no, is. No, exactly. Kids, yeah. You know, as far as communicating and have discussing things that are maybe uncomfortable for whatever reason, it's just what it is. Sometimes it's just uncomfortable to discuss anything. I, exactly. I'm uncomfortable right here talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's not. I'll tell you what. I'm fine with silence. Let's not talk for a minute. Well, good idea. Let's just talk. Let's just take a second here. Hold on. You want a drink? I got one. Thanks. I got, got another one for you here because uh -oh. Jennifer Lawrence. Oh yeah. Jennifer Lawrence, when she was on the show the other night, she said, "Ask him the difference between a cold martini and an extremely cold martini." There is okay? a difference. Yes. And I understand you like a nice, uh, you like a sake martini. Well, right? that too, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I've got an extremely oh, cold one for you right here. <laughs> Let's not talk for a second. <laughs> okay.
pull that so it doesn't fall off. Now, now, <laughs> to silence. Silence. That's old enough? Not bad. Good. To a lot of people, you represent New York. You know, you, you're like an icon of the city itself. Does it bother you at all to a lot of people in America now Donald Trump represents New York? Because <laughs> he does. He's kind of become New York for people. What do you think? <laughs>